Hello Superherd and welcome back to Animal Crossing Bucket Camp and today I just accepted a bunch of friend requests so if you sent me one I should have accepted them all now and it seems like it's pretty cool I can actually go and it's like click somebody's name and I can see if they're selling anything I can view their settings uh, or I can go and visit them and that's pretty cool maybe at some point I can visit some of you guys I don't know if I can visit you while you're playing or maybe it's sort of like an off-screen kind of thing where I'm just sort of at your town but either way today I wanted to try to get through whatever other tutorials or whatever bulk of the game that we have to get through just to learn more about the game because I did enjoy my time with it before and I would like to do more so <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm here for episode two. I don't know, once again, I still don't know if I'm gonna be doing a full series on this game, but for now, I'm enjoying what I'm playing, so if I could do more, that'd be great. Oh, hey, who are you? Oh, you wanted the fish. Wow, yours is the cleanest camper I've ever seen. How are you doing? I see, you're new to life on the road, and it's all pleasures, and all and all of its pleasures. Good for you, I'm Filbert. Ready for an adventure? Um, okay, we got plus one heart, and then you wanted fish. Do you need something, or something, Zebra? Uh, here you go, what's the latest? Let's give him the fish. He needed one fish, we got three of them, so you get one of them. Okay, cool. Ooh, a present! Request completed, cool. And here's your reward, we get 100 bells, two wood, and one paper. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. Thank you so much! I like Philbert. He's really cool. That's his name, right? I'm not already immediately forgetting his name. And we get a little bit of extra into our level one. What more could you want? Um, so, Zebra, what's new, Bucko? Um, I could give him a- Oh, is he still looking for more? Like, one thing, I might ask, I, I think I clicked what's the latest. I wonder if there there's a beach out there somewhere that, where the sand is made out of entirely of sugar. Probably not. How sweet would that be? Now, I guess it would track a lot of bugs. Yes, it would. But hey, we're still gonna get a heart up. That's gonna be more for a level up. Okay, we just got rewards just by being his friend. Cool, we got 200 bells, one natural essence, and three wood. I just, I love this, it's fun. Um, So yeah, like he has a check mark, but like what if I give him a different fish? I think it'll just make him happy. So maybe I shouldn't. I was just saying hello. Uh, then maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll hold on to it just in case somebody else needs it. Can I grab like these little drinks on here? I don't think I can. Um, so let me go ahead and throw out one more fishing net, and then we'll see what this player is here. This might actually be a zebra herd member. Um, so I have three nets, so we'll throw a sea net right now. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Mm -mm. Oh, we get something good, hopefully. It is. Oh. Okay, so some of these are new. Okay, actually only one of them is new, the red one on the left. Cool. So, there's that done. And I don't think there's too much more we can do. We can pick up some shells, but maybe we should visit the map and see else where, where else we're supposed to come. So it seems like we've helped some people somewhere, but it looks like there's somewhere to, somebody to help everywhere. So, it says this here in the bottom left is new, but I've helped the dog here. Um, oh, because I've, I've done it, I just need to go and deliver it. If I keep telling myself I love the bugs on this island, maybe one day I'll believe it. Oh no, this is Goldie. This, I, I think Goldie might be a girl, so that's not the best voice, but um, he's moving in two hours and 32 minutes, so I gotta get there quick. I only have so much time. <laughs> Quickly, destroy all the speed limits. Just go 100 miles an hour down the road. Don't do that. Oh, hey, a bug. We do have a net here, too. There's a bug. Tap the catch it. Okay, so is it complicated like in Animal Crossing or is it just easy? Tap on a bug when you to ready your net and slowly approach. When the time is right, an exclamation point will pop up. Tap quickly while the exclamation point is still on screen to catch the bug. Okay, I should be able to handle that. Ooh, whoop, got it. Okay, so this is a little beetle. This is, wow, I got a rare horned dynastid. I don't know how rare it is. I'm probably destined to get that by the game standard. What is this about? This is where maybe I could, you can catch lots of bugs at once when you use honey. I do have honey. Oh, so it's like the net, but different. Cool, I'll, I'll put some honey down and we'll see what happens. So this game's already adding a lot to the Animal Crossing formula. And of course, all an excuse to make you spend money, but I'd like to see it re-altered. Okay, whoa, we caught a bunch there. I'd like to see this re-altered for a real Animal Crossing game. Use some of these ideas, because some of these are cool, and I'd like to see them in a real Animal Crossing game, like I said. So we used one of our four honeys. Maybe we can you know, use more later. I gotta be careful of the trees. Don't bump into them. 
Um, no bugs on this one. Okay, there's a bug. Ready, set, tap. Gotcha. And there's another character here. Tiger Butterfly, cool. So let's talk to Yoon. Who are you talking to? You just met up with whoever this is. What would you like to do? Visit her market box, visit his or her campsite, make friends, nothing right now. Cool, <laughs> I like your outfit though, looks cute. Um, so yeah, what? there's supposed to be Goldie somewhere around here, maybe on the boardwalk? Uh, never mind. okay, that's somewhere else. So is there any way to run? I guess not, I was trying to double tap to see if that'll work, but we do get some beautiful coconuts. I will take them. Coconut one and coconut two. And there's a van here, I think that's to that one ladies. Let's go ahead and try to capture the butterfly and tap. It just barely did that. I think that's another tiger butterfly. I was correct. Cool. Where's Goldie? Um, well, here's the 10. Hi, Goldie. I got you, you little fish. Hi there. It's so nice to see another friendly face around, wandering around these parts. I think yet Goldie's the sheen. I hope your journey has been pleasant as mine. Woof. You're adorable. So we already got one level with Goldie. That's fantastic. Oh, by the way, can I help you or something? Uh, here, take this. I will give you a little fishy fish. Not to be facetious. That, that's different pronunciation. <laughs> this is just terrific, thank you. All right. Here's your reward, 100 bells, two steel, and one wood. So we have like 51 wood now, that's crazy. Thanks again, there's nothing quite as satisfying as checking yet another thing off the to-do list. I agree. It's like one of my favorite things, just getting more things done on my to-do list. So here we go, we're finally level two! Which is, I'm sure is gonna get us even more rewards. Level up, we get 10 leaf tickets and a thousand bells. I'm expecting that our progress is going to eventually get a lot slower, and that's when it's gonna be very tempting to uh, uh, pay money. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crack, Thon. I don't think so. You can now make one or more new items. Look at the them in your craft catalog. Cool. I love how gold just keeps clapping for us. Leveling up. Your level will go up as you fulfill requests and build friendships with folks you meet along the way. Okay. As, you, as your level increases, you'll be able to craft more furniture and meet a wider variety of animals. Cool. To see rewards for reaching the next level, tap your current level in the upper left corner of the screen. Awesome, because different types of uh, stuff attracts different types of animals, like different furniture. And what to do, and what to do, I owe this pleasure, and... Yeah, I, I, I said that right, I think. Here you go, I have a coconut. I have plenty of these, I got six of them. Uh, now I'm down to five. Fine with me. How lovely, I can't thank you enough. Request complete, yay. So one request after the other. So I guess maybe uh, Filbert was asking for another fish. Bell's 100, steel two, wood one. Thanks again, suddenly I feel like anything is possible. Oh, already at the level two with that. So we are drifting on our friendship level three, which is good. Here are your rewards, 200 bells, one natural instance, and three steel. Nothing crazy. We're making our way to 3,000 bells. So now you want a bunch of, you just keep wanting more and more. I think that's sort of the thing. I think these characters indefinitely just want more and more and more. And what do I owe this pleasure? I got more stuff. Don't worry. I'm your man, here you go. So after this, I I'm definitely done giving her stuff for now. She's gotten plenty. How lovely, I can't thank you enough. I know you told me that the first time. Request complete, of course, the more we give her, the better reward we get, but I mean, it comes at a price. Three inch, I feel like that's not as big of a reward. Thanks again, unless uh, steel is like super like helpful. Either way, level two and a half there. After you fulfill several of their requests, animals will be content for a while. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, you can use request tickets or leave tickets to unlock additional requests until the animal leaves the area. I'm fine. Unlocking additional requests is a way to quickly build your friendship with animals. Cool, but that's all I need. I'm pretty impartial to which animals I, you know, like I have around me. Like I don't know if, like, maybe if you really please somebody, they'll just decide to stay a lot wrong, a lot, a, around for longer. <laughs> Either way, we're getting more butterflies here, cause why not? I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna collectively get everything I can, just hoard everything, you know. So if I see a butterfly like this one, I tap the screen and I grab it. Thank you. So there is that area mostly completed. We could go back into the van now, our camper. I love the word camper. I don't know what it is, but uh, I like camper better than van, even if it is basically a van. <laughs> Let us uh, go to a new area. Oh, wow, well, we can just like, oh, I didn't know we could do this. I didn't know we could just like be in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I can craft some furniture. 
I can craft a fence, I can craft like a little bench, I don't really need too much of that, but I could also like make, oh, but it costs so much. It all costs, so it's very pricey. I'd imagine like the couch or maybe even the bookshelf would be cool, but the bookshelf is locked. What do I need for this? Uh, you'll be able to make this at level three, cool. So there's no materials I'm using, or maybe I'm using materials and money, which is insane. Um, hmm, maybe the hammock, it's also really cheap. Oh no, yep, you, do you use both money and materials or do you get to choose? This is cute though, I think that's pretty cool. All right, well, I'm trying to anyways. Uh, so we only need three and three of each. Yeah, I think it's materials and money. Um, Look who loves this. I mean, I don't really need to, like, I don't think I can put this inside of my thing. And then, expand crafting capacity. Use 80 leaf tickets to increase the number of items you can craft at the same time. No thank you, because yeah, then he goes and builds it. Weird, okay, there's lots to learn here. This game is pretty uh in depth, I guess. And then we have some special items available for a limited time. These are really exciting. These are KK Slider's chair and Tom Nook's chair. They cost so much, they're only available on through tickets, which is crazy. And I think you can like buy more tickets or something. Don't exactly know how to do that, but I'm not interested. So, um, yeah, I think that, well, let's check this out. Notices, mailbox, market box, goals, loan. I can get a loan, really. Um, use this app anytime you want to make a payment to OK Motors, you set the term. So, okay, do we already have a loan loan installment? You don't owe anything right now. Visit OK Motors to redesign or expand your camper. So that's just like, you know, the house. Um, so we can go to, wrong button. We can go to leave tickets. And this is where like, I buy them with real money. I'm just curious to see how much they cost. Ooh, okay, yeah, we actually, we saw this. Not crazy expensive, but at the same time, now that I know that like some of them cost like 500 tickets, it's actually pretty expensive. Um, let us go to, oh, is there anything in my Nintendo? Like sometimes like for like Miitopia, you would get rewards through my Nintendo. Maybe you could do that here. Okay, motors cap. Oh, okay, so I can get stuff by earning more points. How do I earn points down? I'm guessing by just getting more Stuff done. Oh, I can get this, 50 leave tickets. Okay, I'll redeem that. Redeem. Cool. And then, yay, we got it. Anything else I can get for free? I don't think so, I think that's all the free stuff. So we'll head out of here, and we will go to the map, and we'll find somewhere else to go now. We've been there, we've been there. So let's go here, this is the marketplace. A market with a rotating selection of shops. You can select, you can also get help from Isabel here. Cool, let's go. Let's see Isabel, a rotating selection of vendors, set up shop in Marketplace. Good. And they're all just out of a camper, which is cool. So here we are. I just have to take a sip of my tea. Oh, hey, hey, how are you doing? Uh, hello there, and welcome to the Marketplace. Let me give you a tiny little tour. This area is home to a number of traveling vendors. You might even recognize a few of them. Anyway, we like to keep a good rotation going to keep things fresh. So be sure to stop by every so or, or every so often to see what's next or new, whatever. <laughs> oh, and over to the side is what I like to call my town hall satellite office. Between my duties in town and my duties out here, I can it can feel like I'm in two places at the same time. But don't worry, I always find a way to be there for everyone. Okay, that's it. Enjoy your stay and I'll see you around. All right, thank you. So, let's talk to Skunk Guy, Kix. Well, fancy that, a new customer. This is your first time around the shop, isn't it? Well, we deal in shoes here, and shoes and socks. Have a look for yourself. Got anything you'd like to unload today? We're always buying. Um, not nothing right now. I think I need everything I have. All right, no worries. Remember, just give the shoes a little tab if you fancy a pair. Okay, so like I can, oh, so we can buy shoes in this game. I feel like you can't in the normal Animal Crossing. Once again, they're expanding this game more than they have for any other Animal Crossing. That's sort of unfair. Ha, Zebra, welcome. This is the Town Hall Travel Desk. You can see all of the time goals and stretch goals here. Check out the beginner's guide. So how can I help you today? Uh, nothing. Okay, no problem. Come back anytime. Does she have like a little laptop here? No, it's just, um, okay, that kind of stuff. Anything interesting around here then? Um, I can't head down here. There really isn't too many shops, but oh look, it's a little baby nook, I forget your name. You're Tommy, yeah, there's Timmy and Tommy. All right then, uh, welcome to the Marketplace Division of Nookling Global. 
your one stop for odds and ends. We pride ourselves on bringing you the finest new and used furniture and collectibles. Just tap on anything that catches your eye and we can get down to business. Might you be interested in selling an item today? Not right now. No problem, remember, just tap on anything you might be interested in buying. I don't think so. <laughs> can I really buy dinnerware? I mean, is it pre-washed or no? Rolling closet or wood displacement. And it's all so expensive, at least compared to what I have. Can I buy this bench? No, I can't. So there's only two shops available right now. Let's go to the map then. What else can I do? Um, There wasn't too much there, but there is like a cool waterfall. Lost Lore Creek. I've got a super sweet setup over here by the brook, so come visit. We have to catch up pronto. Okay, Rosie, we're going on over to uh, this place. If you've got your eye on a new piece of furniture, place an order with Cyrus. I know, I know. See, if I buy furniture from Nook, do I still have to buy it? Do I, do I, I mean, still have to create it? I don't know. There's a fish. I know about the fish, but I guess this might be an important fish. I've already fish, fish fashed before, but these are river fish. Okay. Um, so it's gonna be a different kind of fish here, so it's definitely worth fishing it. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Um, I actually, oh, I just scared it away. I wanted to get closer. And, um, well, th th there goes my easy chance of some fish. I'll just throw it here. All right, here, fishy. Come on over. I know you want to. Give me that exclamation point. Yep, got it. Tap it, tap it, tap it, and I get myself a beautiful little yellow perch. Fantastic. Um, I see you here. Go and catch. Oh my. Oh, you're a small one, too. Gotta be careful. I got you, though, I got you. This is another fish, the pale chub. Some of these are ringing some bells. And not the, the, the money kind of bells, but the, the kind that, like, I, I think I've heard of these before in other Animal Crossing games. Hi! You just met up with this person. Uh, no thank you. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce kanji. Um, I think that's kanji. I don't know. There's a peach. There's another peach. And there's another peach. Um, no, I do not want to leave. I was just adventuring. Do you want to have to give me pop-ups every single second? So this is somebody, this is his camper. Can I go inside? Oh, I can, well, here we go. What's cool about his camper then, anything? Can you put stuff in your camper or not? I guess we'll find out. His camper looks different. It's pretty nice in here. Oh, wait, and he's following me, making sure I don't, I don't mess with anything. <laughs> don't knock over my fern, buddy. Um, oh, yeah, yes, please get me out of here. He's watching me funny. Okay, well, you know what they say. If you can't pronounce somebody's name, you probably shouldn't be in their house. They don't say that, but I, I said it. Said, and as long as one other person says it, that means more than one person, so that would mean that they say it. Either way, other players and friends may visit you in the campers. Tap on another player to say hello. You can tour their camper and see what they've got in their market box. Cool. All right, so we got some cherries. I'll take them. Give me that cherry, this cherry, and don't forget the third cherry. So there should be a character on here. Always buy their tent. Oh, you wanted the cherry, perfect. Obviously, they make these first little like requests really easy. Wow, I really love what you've done with your camper. You mean absolutely nothing? I can't. T I can tell you've got flair. Is that sarcasm? And I would know, I'm kind of an expert when it comes to flair. My name's Rosie, if you ever need any advice about camping or just life in general, give me a shout. I'm kind of an expert on those subjects too. Sure, and there we go, we're already good friends, level one. Oh duh, you came to see me, you must want to talk about something, what's up? Here you go. Oh, we can tell her to tell me a story, that's good. So there's that done. I gave you a cherry for me. Aw, oh, nothing means more than a gift from a fan, silly, a fan. All right, request complete. Perfect. All right, so we got bunches of stuff there. You've been super helpful during this trip. You rule, silly, then why you call me silly? I don't know. So there's that. We're, we're slowly but surely leveling up. I do have a couple pairs. Oh, do you have some new gossip, silly? No, 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 just some pairs. Okay, so here's your pair. And then lastly, I'm sure you're gonna ask for something else. Oh, nothing means more than a yeah, blah, 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 blah. So they sometimes get a little repetitive. What else are you gonna have or need? So there's a couple more things there. It definitely is about slowly building up your different stuff. Uh, you barely even know me. And that'll be level two, that's good. So here's the reward, 200 bells, a cute essence, and wood. I wonder what cute essence is for. Like maybe you can add that to things to make 
items in your camp, a specific thing or another. Either way, you want two cherries and an orange. You must be hungry for some fruit. Here, take this. Okay, here you go. You can take these and you can give me something. It'd be better if I, I mean, I guess you can see the reward. Uh, I wonder if at what, some point we'll be able to knock down trees and just be able to get wood that way. I'm so honored to have a fan, a, a friend like you, yay! We're more than a fan, we're a friend. Beautiful. Okay, do you got anything else or is that it? I think that's it. What's up, Zebra? Um, let's talk. Let's see what you have to say. The merchants who sit at the shop at the marketplace are always rotating. That's why I make a point to visit absolutely every day. I swear, sometimes being an idolized trendsetter is more work than it's worth, silly. Okay, okay, well, talking to you gave us another point, so glad I did that. Here's a reward we're gonna get. More cute essence and wood. Over 4,000 bells now. We're making it work. Anything else from her that we can talk about? I can ask her to come to my campsite. Finally, you must really like me if you're inviting me to your campsite. I'm so excited, Zebra. Oh, maybe I should have invited Goldie. But you know what? I'm a little fussy when it comes to style, right? Your campsite will have to meet a few requirements if you want me to swing by. Uh, I don't think I can then. Um, either one, invite to campsite, Rosie. This type of campsite would totally be the, the next big thing. I'm calling it. Hint, try crafting new furniture that you don't already own. Needed to invite Rosie. Uh, raise friendship level with that animal to at least two. Collect a lovely love seat. Well, I collect it, but I don't need it. Interesting. Collect an aloe, collect a hammock, and collect a work table. So I don't have that. Once your campsite is up to my personal standards, get in touch, okay? I'll head over Lickety Split. Well, I would like to have some characters that are gonna mix well with what I want. Like, Apollo's already at my campsite, so I don't need to invite him. But we got four river, river throw nets, so I'll, maybe I'll throw out like two of them now. Like, I don't know if I should hold on to any of them or I should just spend everything all the time, you know? It can't hurt by being a bit frugal, though. I can't imagine. All right, we got a couple different fish here. None of them look familiar, so maybe I should like, try tapping on them and see if I get anything that way, but we'll try it one more time. This will be our chance to do that. We'll use another one, just like that, and see what we get. Hopefully it's something good. Ooh, we're gonna get something, it is. Oh, there, there's some new ones. Yeah, I just try to tap on them and it doesn't do anything. Either that, or my hooves are being glumsy like normal. So there's nothing else around here, I'm just trying to make extra sure. I'll catch that little fish down here. I gotta make sure, and like, it doesn't use, like that's what the cool thing about this game though, is that with other really greedy mobile games, I wasn't ready to tap. <laughs> um, not only do you have to wait forever for everything, it usually like, oh, if you want a fish, you gotta make sure you have fish bait. If you if you don't pay $5.99, you won't get any more fish bait. Oh, if you want the net, you gotta cover it in bug juice, cause the bugs love bug juice, you know? It's just, luckily it's not like, I can get whatever fish show up, and that's and it doesn't cost me anything. I have to say, like, obviously, I think that this game is still gonna be very slow at some point, and it's gonna be trying to make it very apparent that it wants you to pay up. Cause it's just how these games are. We got a Crucian Carp. Carp. Crucian Carp? Cru it's definitely Crucian. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know why I was so definite about it. There we go. But it doesn't cost me anything just to sit here and enjoy catching some fish, just like in the actual Animal Crossing, which is just really pleasing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what we can do here. Oh, oh, good, good, good. And we get a yellow perch again. So we're getting lots and lots of fishies. I wonder if there is an inventory maximum. Either way, we got a lot of stretch goals complete. Uh, Chow was one of the animals visiting a recreation spot. So we get six of something here. Uh, Current let's give it the good work. And then we also get complete a request for an animal. We get three more of whatever these are. I will find out eventually with there. We catch five bugs, so that is going to be 10 tickets. So these, of course, are worth doing because we just get good stuff. I mean, I plan on doing them anyways because having these things opens up different options. We got 30 uh, steel there, I think. Befriend another player, 10 more tickets. Befriend five other players. Of course, if you guys ever want to trade your own friend requests so that you guys can build up your own amount of friends, feel free to do so down below. Use a river throw net. I'm um, sure. And then use some honey. Complete, I did do that. If we reach level three, we get 30 cotton, I think. And then raise your friendship level within any animal to four, and that'll be another 30 like can of something. 
So, we'll have to open up our mailbox. I guess we could do that now and just collect on. Crazy amount of stuff right now. So what are these? These are request tickets and calling cards. All right, items received. Well, I'll find out what they are eventually, I'm sure. And I, the game will probably not fret to explain it to me. Items received, we got, wow, 15,000 bells. That was a lot. Whole big bunch. But I think we're just about finished up here. So I'm gonna go to the map. And I'm gonna go to uh, visiting the quarry. To enter Shovel Strike Quarry, you'll need to use leave tickets or get help from a few friends. Really? I just wanna go in. Visiting the quarry, you can earn bells and craft materials by finding minerals in the quarry. So basically, when you're in Shovel Strike Quarry, never leave. Quarry reset at 4 p.m. Well, it's almost tune. Uh, Lloyd, please help me find minerals. Craft minerals and bells are at stake. There are two ways to enter and help me. You need help from friends. You need five or more players to agree to help or use 20 leave tickets. What do you mean by agree to help? Um, so like they'll, they'll have to be online with me. That's interesting. Um, or I can just use leave tickets. Maybe for the first time, I'll just use leave tickets. Uh, Cause I do have over 200 of them. That just probably means I won't do this very often to be honest with you. Um, We'll try to soak up as much time as we can here before we finish up for today's episode, which is coming up. So it looks like there's a lot more to this game than I thought there was gonna be. And I thought there was gonna be a fair amount of fishing, having trouble aim for the fish's head, and you'll be able to blah, blah, blah. Ah, welcome, you must be here for the famous quarry tour. Yep, I got my shovel. As a part of the tour, you will be granted an opportunity to break some rocks with a shovel. Perhaps that doesn't sound exciting, but I'll gladly offer you bells for any minerals you find. Some people here have been known to find some valuable silver or gold nuggets. Let's find some minerals, Goom. Cool. Honestly, it starts to have like more of an attempt remaining. Oh gosh, it's a guessing game. I got a silver nugget, cool. Oh, guessing games are weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's sort of starting to feel almost like a little bit Stardew Valley inspired. Ooh, a ruby. I wonder if that's better than gold. Another one. I'd be surprised if it's worse than silver. And a gold one. Cool, so we got some decent stuff there. I'm sure we're getting intentional beginner's luck. Then maybe it's not luck. Well, you worked quite hard. I hope you'll be satisfied with this reward. Maybe I will. What is it? Here's your reward. You get 3,700 bells. Fantastic. Well, this has been more of a satisfactory, more than a chance of a satisfactory transaction. I'm pleased with today's mineral haul. Thank you for your help. I would be delighted if you ever want to assist me further. Will do. Hooray. Happiness. So there's that done. And oh, and then it just kicks you out. So it doesn't really work the way I thought it would. But uh, we're done with that area. Now, we're gonna go to the final last new area. And I'm guessing this is where we can, OK Motors, yep. Uh, check out OK Motors for all of your camper customization needs. Let's go. And let's see how we can customize our camper to get other things. Oh, hey, you guys are cute. I like those guys. <laughs> Yeah, there's some very cool vans here, and this one looks like it's mine. Okay, so I'm guessing I can customize the appearance of it. Hey, a bell, welcome to OK Motors. It's Giovanni. The name's Giovanni, and you must be Zebra, right? Isabel told me about you. Anyway, I see you've already, uh, you, you've al you're already the owner of a fine automobile, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Me and the boys here can help you customize that thing into a chariot worthy of a king. So let's get started. Oh, really? Um, sounds great. Beautiful. Now, we're, now here at OK Motors, we specialize in campers. We can make your camper bigger and we can make your camper beautiful. We can make your camper shine. Now, let me introduce you to the boys. First up here is old Carlo. Bonnie man and mechanic extraordinaire. Say a few words, Carlo. You can count on me, kid. He don't say much, but he's been doing this a long time. He used to work with my pops. And over here we have Be Beppe? Beppe, our painting prodigy. Hey, I'll paint anything. I'll paint your shirt, I'll your shoes, your hat, whatever. Oh, oh, I'll even paint your camper. <laughs> that was the whole point of this conversation. Beppe is very good with paint. Very bad with conversation. So am I, don't worry. <laughs> now I've been thinking, you've already got your own camper, but I can't let a new customer walk out of here empty handed. So I wanna make you a deal. As a one time only special, we'll customize your camper for free. That's right, I said free. All you gotta do is pick the colors, so go on, what are you waiting for? So we get to customize the colors. Of course, if I can, I'll go uh, black and white. 
We got vertical stripes, racing stripes, two and one half. Let's do the simple. Uh, I don't know. We could do that. We, we could try this. And then when it comes to the colors, do we have pure black? We do have pure black. Now, do we have pure white? Pretty close to it. That's like a like a cream white or something. Um, sure. <laughs> Zebra tasking enough for me for now. Pretty good. You gotta leave the rest to us. Beppe, Carlo. All right, you guys have fun. So it looks like you can get really crazy with it though. It looks like some of them had like flowers and different patterns. I don't know, boys. I feel like I work so much that I don't even have time for my own camper, you know? Totally. I haven't changed my oil in nine years. I forget his voice. Beppe, you know you're not allowed to drive. Oh my. Okay, they have a little conversation. It looks fantastic, you guys did a great job. I'm glad I'm paying for my wholesome price of absolutely free now. That is sharp. Great choice, kid. So that's about it for now. I hope you're happy with your free custom job. Come back anytime, okay? Will do, thank you, Beppe. Or Giovanni. Yo, how's it going, pal? How can we be a service? Uh, uh, no, I was hoping that I can chat with you, Giovanni. I wanna know you a bit more, but okay. Uh, what about everybody else? Uh, I can maybe talk to Yoon. You know, I still remember Giovanni over there as a little kid playing with toy cars. And now he's a big boss, ha ha ha. I gotta say them, he's, he knows what he's doing. These days a customer is always right. In my day, well, enough said about that. Okay. Then let us first off, or last off, I guess, talk to uh, Beppe. Hey, buddy. This is one of the best special paint jobs I've ever designed, if I do say so myself. If you ever wanna go with one of my special designs, just talk to Giovanni, okay? So yeah, these are like special designs. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, well, I think I'm good with that. Uh, beyond that, we have visited every area at least once, which means I can go back to some areas and try to get more done soon. But I think for today, that's gonna finish everything up. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Camper so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.